What's going on? Welcome to the Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast. If you're new to the channel, I'm Waver Wire Queen. Welcome and thanks for tuning in. Today's episode, we're going to talk about three must draft wide receivers. Let's get it. To the Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast with Waver Wire Queen. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of great content, which is going to help you prepare for your upcoming season and going to get you ready to compete at the highest level throughout the season so you can achieve your ultimate goal to win your fantasy football league. Let's talk about those three wide receivers or must draft wide receivers and will help you win and dominate weekly. Coming in at Number three, Michael Pittman, wide receiver with the Colts. I absolutely love Michael Pittman. He has a lot of factors which are going to help him exceed his 2021 production because he has a better quarterback. That's one. Matt Ryan, in my opinion, at this stage of his career, is simply better than um, Carson Wentz. You got to understand that. Matt Ryan didn't have a lot to work with last year on the Falcons. One being that offensive line wasn't good at all. And Ridley obviously was out and suspended. Now he goes to the Colts. They have uh, better overall offensive weapons and they have a really good offensive line. So there's not going to be much that's going to stop Michael Pittman and Matt Ryan from connecting several, several times this upcoming season. You should be excited about Pittman if you have him in a dynasty league, and if you are considering drafting him in a redraft league, you need to do so with confidence and know that he's going to be top 10 statistically in um, 2022 once the season is, is over with. Last season was a breakout season for him. Yes, we predicted that, and he exceeded our expectations. And they were in a, he was in a run first offense, and he produced. We all know Jonathan Taylor was simply amazing, and you wouldn't expect a wide receiver to go over a thousand yards when you're consistently running the football the majority of the time. But Considering Carson Wentz at times wasn't great, and then they ran the football a lot, Pittman was really good and produced. 88 receptions, 1,082 receiving yards, and six touchdowns. Let's be clear. He's going to exceed that productivity in 2022. So he's one of my favorites to draft. If you have him in a dynasty league, Don't trade him. If you are trying to trade for him, just know that someone is going to tax you. I'm in some leagues where people are asking for a first and a player. So if you want Pittman, just understand you're going to have to give up something of value to acquire Michael Pittman. But if you are going into the redraft draft over the next few weeks, do not sleep on him. Do not shy away from drafting him because it's going to pay off if he's on your team. I want him on my team. I don't want him playing against me. I want him on my side. So draft Michael Pittman with confidence. He's going to have a career year this season with the Colts. Coming in at number two, one of my favorite wide receivers in the NFL, I say that about all of them, I think. But he's simply one of my favorites. I try to get him in every league, which may not be a great strategy, but I just love his production and his his swag. And he's a cowboy, C.D. Lamb, and I'm a Giants fan, so, you know, that don't go together, but it's going to go together because I simply love this young kid's talent, and he he's humble, and he is just super talented. And I don't care if he's on the Cowboys. He has a lot of factors, which makes you want to just reach and get him, but it's not reaching, okay? If you 
were to draft CD as one of your top five wide receivers in your upcoming fantasy draft, I will not be upset with you. I would say, you know what? He's most likely going to finish top five this season. And if he's your guy, you get him because if you get in your draft and you're like, oh, ADP, that that's the, no, I can't get him at the end of the first or mid first or second. Depending on how your league is set up in regards to the roster format and um, how points are awarded, your scoring format, you may snatch CD up earlier than what people expect and it's going to pay off. So don't be afraid to draft CD wherever you feel he needs to go because somebody else is going to be thinking the same thing you're thinking and then you're going to be disappointed. Some factors as to why CD should be drafted is a must draft. If you have him in the Dynasty League, yes, congratulations. If you are trying to get him, it's going to cost you a lot, okay? I had someone try to trade me CD today and they wanted an arm. They No, no, no. They wanted both of my arms, one of my legs. They wanted all my fantasy football. Now, this is one of everything and some picks. And I, I was like, okay, yeah, that's going to be too much. I ain't even going to be able to set my lineups if I give you um, what you're asking for. But again, he's really that good. And, and everyone's projecting him to simply go off this season. He has Dak Prescott, who's going to get him the football. He, that Cowboy offense, it's very explosive in the passing game. And you got to also keep in mind, Amari Cooper was traded to the Browns which means CD is the number one. But in my opinion, last year, CD was the number one. So let's be clear. He's not the number one just now. He's been the number one. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay. Um, and again, a career year for him. 79 receptions, 1,102 yards, six touchdowns in 2021, which was impressive. And again, he's going to exceed his production in 2021. So if you have him, great. If you want him, go on and get him. And there is some uncertainty about Michael Gallup's availability in week one, which means there's going to be a lot more targets for CD Lamb. And again, he's going to go off in 2022. So you should want CD Lamb on your team instead of you competing against CD Lamb during the season and potentially in the playoffs and maybe the championship. You want him on your side. Get him on your side. And coming in at number one, one of my favorite wide receivers, I'm going to say that every, every daggone week, but I will say this. One of the most consistent wide receivers in the NFL, Mike Evans with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That is right. Mike Evans is simply amazing. He's consistent. I tell y'all, when I start singing to y'all, y'all know what it is. Y'all better get the player on y'all side. Mike Evans is brilliant. That is all I have to say about Mike Evans. The consistency is impressive considering, you know, um, he was able to produce a thousand yard seasons every year since he was drafted in the NFL. Keep in mind, some of those seasons, Jameis Winston was his um, quarterback. And you already know that Winston at times was turning the football over a, a lot, which, you know, can hurt the wide receivers production. But to me, it didn't hurt Mike Evans. And that is one of the reasons why Mike Evans is a must draft because you already know he's going to be a consistent. They compare Drake London to uh, Mike Evans. And if Drake London can turn into a Mike Evans, I want Drake London as a rookie on my team all day. But back to Mike Evans, simply, simply amazing. He is one of the most slept on wide receivers. I don't know why people keep sleeping on him. Give this man his damn flowers. He is an excellent wide receiver, especially in fantasy football. He is in my top 10. I have him ranked as the 10th best wide receiver in fantasy. And you can check out my top 10 wide receiver rankings so you know who you should be targeting in that top 10. But back to Mike Evans, again, simply, simply amazing. There have been some 
some updates with Tampa. Uh, Godwin now is back practicing, which is shocking. However, you know, that's still a situation to monitor. Although he may be back practicing, doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be ready to go to start the season. Even if he, he is, Evans is still going to get his 1,000, okay? Let's be clear. He, he is. He's playing with the GOAT Tom Brady, okay? That's a factor right there. The GOAT Tom Brady. Gronk and A.B. are no longer on the team. Although um, Tampa signed Julio Jones and Kyle Rudolph, let's be clear. They will help at times. However, they're not going to hurt Mike Evans' production at all. No. All right. A.B. was hurting Evans' production, and people probably were concerned about um, his production at times, statistically, last season when A.B. was on Tampa, but uh, he's he's no longer there. And I don't believe, again, Julio or Kyle Rudolph are threats to Mike Evans' uh, pr production and his 1,000-plus yards this upcoming season. Again, with Julio Jones and Kyle Rudolph, over the last – several seasons they haven't been able to put together a complete season due to injuries don't want to see these guys injured but that's something that you have to have in, in, in the back of your mind they will help um tampa however i still envision the three wide receivers to start especially if godwin is ready to go it'll be godwin evans and, and gage Julio may cut into some of Russell Gage's production, so Russell Gage's value will slight may slightly change, and especially if Julio can remain healthy the entire season. However, Mike Evans is still going to have a hell of a season, and he's still going to be one of my top 10 wide receivers. He's most likely going to finish slightly ahead of my top 10 rankings because I do project him to go over 1,000, Again, this season, have his touchdowns, but he may hit 1,100 yards this season, five, six touchdowns, which is still consistent, and he'll finish as one of the top 10 wide receivers in fantasy football. And again, give Mike Evans his flowers because he is simply impressive. He has been consistent, and he's a wide receiver you should want on your team because he's going to produce, he's going to play, He's going to put some fear in your opponent's heart when they have to play you. And that's what we want, too. We want them to fear us when we play them every week. And again, give Mike Evans his flowers because people continue to just sleep on him and treat him as if he's just not that good when he simply is. Leave some comments and let me know your thoughts on our three bus draft wide receivers. Did we get it right? Make sure you hit the subscribe button because we have a lot of great content, which is going to prepare you for the upcoming fantasy football season, especially your upcoming fantasy football drafts. We got you throughout the season with a lot of great material, which will help you week to week and prepare for the playoffs because you're always going to make the playoffs. That's the goal. Make the playoffs and win your league. That is the ultimate goal. Win, 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 because that is what it's about. Winning and having fun in fantasy football. Tune in next episode. We have a great mock draft for a redraft, super flex, one tight end league. Y'all have a great evening. I'll see you in the mock draft. Thanks for listening to the Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast.